All right, next time we come back here, hopefully we have seen an eclipse. Honestly, one of my big goals is just to stay hydrated for the next three days. It's solid. Because with a heat index of 95, mm -hmm. my guess is that's going to be one of our biggest battles. The giant open field. <laughs> it's like Woodstock for science games. Do it. I think that's the part that I think is going to be most interesting. Just hearing everyone talk about how it's going to get really quiet. You won't hear birds and all that stuff. But where we're going, we'll, would we hear the birds anyway? I mean, the people who say that are the people who go to remote locations, camp out, and watch the eclipse with like three other people. Right. We're going to be in a farm field with basically two big houses watching a sport that no, none of them have ever seen live. I mean, can you imagine filling the big house for a football game and nobody there has ever seen football before? Right. That's, and they're playing cricket. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, no. I don't know how these people are going to react. Are they going to go quiet? Are they going to cheer wildly? Uh, next stop, Hopkinsville, I think. Sounds about right. In about seven hours, eight hours. Waze tells me it's gonna take uh, two hours and 10 minutes. Wow, seriously? Yeah, Waze has a drinking problem though. <laughs> gonna go see some little green men just north of Hopkinsville Kentucky because that's what you did Feature film, yeah. Okay. They were deemed as little green men, but that's what the media deemed them as. Uh, they were actually about three to four feet tall. Uh, they had big ears, big glowing eyes. 
Um, and they seem to kind of float across the ground, they say. We are looking forward to seeing the eclipse. I've never seen a total solar eclipse, so that'll be fun. So, yeah. As you said, <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Okay. Many Japanese likes so, so, so much interest in watching cool. them. Yes. Okay. Take some video and possibly get a bottle of the Eclipse Eclipse Moonshot. Okay, awesome. We, we're in the right spot, huh? Yeah, you're in the right spot. We took all of that war walking humor. Well, we died like boss on the run. I fall, I fall, I fall, I fall. It's a hundred proof total Eclipse Moonshot. We guarantee the lights out. You know, you can have an eclipse anytime you want. You don't have to wait. And if you do have an eclipse with our moonshine, it's going to last a lot longer than two minutes and 40 seconds. Since Hopkinsville is Eclipse Central, uh, I couldn't turn down the chance to do it. They can both drive you crazy at times, but the most fun things do that, you know? Following the Detroit Tigers drives me crazy at times too, but I love to do it. So Steve and Karen, things winding down here as everybody's gonna try to get some sleep tonight, but they're all jacked up for what's to come tomorrow. What's up, Norm? <laughs> <laughs> It's four o'clock in the morning, what's up? That's right, that's what's up. Oh my God. But how's life? There are times in every man's life where he reflects on some of the life decisions that he's made. This is one of them. I don't feel real good about it. Where are we going, Ben? We're gonna go see an eclipse. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna go to some farm and watch our clips. What time has it been? Oh, dark 30. It's 5.09 in the a.m. Maybe once the sun comes up. rented roosters and took them to Mexico and Georgia in the path of the eclipse just to see what they were going to do. How's the man in the moon cut his hair? He clips it. Yesterday, I was downtown Hopkinsville, and I had a chance. A person calls me over and says, I want you to meet somebody. It's my friend from Belarus. Then immediately right after that, I meet a person from Spain, and then someone taps me on the shoulder. Tokyo Broadcasting wants to do an interview. In downtown awesome. Hopkinsville, I said, that's surreal to have yeah. that type of an experience. It's, it's been international. It's awesome, though. It really, but again, it's the nature of this whole event. It is indeed. It captures the imagination. I'll, I'll, I'll see. I'll, I'll, I think it will blow me away. So again, two minutes and 40 seconds of totality is what we're looking forward to and it is starting to get dark, starting to get noticeably dark. The last of the moon is starting to move in front of the sun. We're waiting. You can hear the crowd behind me. Glass is off and we are in totality here in Hopkinsville. What an amazing sight. 
Stars are out for the planets, are visible in the sky as the corona is dancing in an amazing show around the edge of the moon. It is hard to put into words. We've seen pictures of it. We've seen video as recently as minutes ago. But to feel the drop in temperature, to feel the wind cease, and just to see this amazing sight in front of us is, is awe-inspiring. There's no other way to prove it, or to, to describe it. We start to see the diamond ring and we start to see Bailey's beads there. It looks like on the right side. The 360 degree sunrise is visible on the horizon. There's the diamond ring. The glasses are back on as we are coming out of totality. And we're looking for Bailey's beads to start appearing again around the surface of the moon. Amazing. <laughs> Pretty emotional? It is. Why? Yeah, you don't, I don't want to look up to you. Stay fit. It's pretty amazing, huh? It's pretty amazing. Daylight is returning in a blink of an eye, and that what people say is a life changing experience has now passed. Uh, incredible. Uh, this was uh, definitely something that you have to experience, and as we said, with that 2024 eclipse scheduled from just near us, just south of us in Toledo. Uh, it is something that you definitely need to make room for.